Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of GTA 5, where I just pulled into the wrong road to get into my house. Not like I've been here before, I probably shouldn't know what's going on. <sighs> me. Can you believe me sometimes? Go ahead and park this- Oh, I couldn't park because the mission starter thing is here. Watching a movie. Oh, and time passes. I bet I fell asleep on the couch watching that movie because it looked like a boring movie. Oh, it's my son! Hey! But... <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. Oh. That wimpy shit is just... Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the <laughs> ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, alright? You are just a lame psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit. But I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Wow, what a kid I have. I'm so proud. So will you buy me a car? What? what? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? <laughs> it's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. This kid is so caring and loving. Hey. Uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, oh, better built, man. caring and compassionate man is great and all. But what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die. And she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. Take a hint. He laid it out for you. There was no hint there. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think mom's at Bean Machine. Can we take the Ferrari? No, we gotta go in here, don't we? Because he's already getting in there. This is the car he did up, too. He, he fancified so, this car. What's been happening? Oh, you know. You know, uh, this stuff. I don't know. Stuff? Stuff's no. been happening? No. I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, things. stuff. It's been... Things. It's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Oh, okay. Here they are. Fabian too. Oh, what a treat. What? I don't guess we better walk up to him. I don't see them. Caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle. Oh, is that her? A little bit more boy toy, please. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, yet. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh, that's my son! Yeah, you don't talk about our bowel habits like that. Much. You must pay for it. Hey, hey, buddy. I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just 
Hit him, please. Just hit him. Shush, woman. Anything for you, sweetheart. Wh wh what? Uh, 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 I had some really good work there, you dick. There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he is a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. Yes, yes, and kid. You could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. No kidding, right? This guy's weird. Oh yeah, kick him in the head, Jimmy. I guess we could try. That's my boy. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground, Doctor Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you. Fine. Let's do it. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. Oh. All right. You know where your sister is, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. I want one too. Be a team player, buddy. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo bar. <gasps> oh, my God. I was just run over horribly by this horrible, horrible woman. Oh my god! And the pain continues. Alright, we're good. It's fine. We have tough ankles. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey. Maybe we will. Yes. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. <laughs> I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. All right, let's Here's get this girl. Shop. Where's the tattoo shop? Oh, the shop that says tattoo. Blazing tattoo. Hope it doesn't blaze after you get tattooed. Might be a sign of a problem. For something hip that you know says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. What? Whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, if you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is going to have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's so gangster. Uh, Pierce, like Pierce Laszlo's brow, Pierce Laszlo's nose, Pierce Laszlo's ear. Mm. <laughs> Are you <popping> <laughs> Oh, I gotta tattoo him? Oh, oh please God. tattoo him. Oh, bear. What's daddy number two gonna think about this? Uh, let's not get him involved. Uh, let's do... If I knew I was getting this much work done, I would have brought a camera crew. Hold R in the direction oh, shown to draw the tattoo. Or, or is it a surprise? Just relax, okay? <laughs> this is so silly. Oh yes, that is the best tattoo ever. <laughs> How about I throw those three little pubic hairs on here too? There we go. Oh, nice. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Too nice this. Oh, ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. You fucking asshole! I'm a celebrity. <laughs> No, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now His I gotta signature. Get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. 
Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? No so, kidding, right? I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. Whatever a family that needs therapy. What <laughs> pony? How do I look? <laughs> oh man, that look on his face was priceless. You use a tattoo gun. It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Hey, Ew! Man. Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Not quite. Alright, go to Dr. Freelander's office. This should be fun. transformational to your mental health so I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals hey this was your mother's idea well I guess it beats yoga huh? now he beats yoga literally like Fabian around the head with the laptop oh yeah like how our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad end. to be honest and I know it's karmically bad but yeah I fucking hate that dude yeah I know right so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Wow. Will you? You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior. I contort I'm my junk. Overshare. <laughs> hey, guy was talking smack oh, man, to your I mother. This. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Oh, I you're wish there was more of this. Like, like, finally, like, using your powers of selfishness and rage for, like, good. Not an objective universal good. But like a subjective, what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! <laughs> do it, Dan! Yeah! Do, do it! it. Do we're it. not gonna rob anybody, kids! I love that we're getting along, but knock it off! Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store, that might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy, let's do that shit! Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. Seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. This family needs to be together more often. This is hilarious. The banter between them and stuff. My son? I, I love my son. He's great. My daughter? I don't know about her. She's a little bit... A little bit of a skank. Uh, where are we? This is the therapist's office right here. So do we just like park in here? Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Oh, there she is. I'm like, where's that voice coming from? Here we go. This should be interesting. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? The whole family. Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you oh know gosh. what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee. Because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? <laughs> Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. Burn. What a burn. I mean, let's face it. Amanda, we're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. It. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with Whoa! 
And that's really all the time we have. Oh, great. I think we made some real progress there. I don't think we did. Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so are you gonna come home with me or what? I guess we'll give it a try. What? All right. Then. After he threatened to kill her. Kids. All righty. Wow, that cost me four thousand dollars. Man, therapists. Whew. I want to be a therapist when I grow up. You know, there was a moment there. I thought. What? I don't know. Like maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. <laughs> oh, I got a warm fuzzy feeling. Cath Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right. Oops. Sorry. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, mom. For real peeps. Cause I started to understand For real something peeps. in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Or, oh, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. <laughs> or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Oh my god. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lines, the FIB, that monster Trevor? There's no explaining Uncle T. Gosh, Trevor. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? No. 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 Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I think so. I think I can do that. Kids. Look at us. Rooms. Back home like we a family. Dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips. We're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. <laughs> Mission complete. Mission passed. Fifty percent. Mission time seventeen minutes nineteen seconds. Really? How much? How could I have made that faster? Who's this? It's Trevor. Listen to me. <laughs> driving. What? How does driving just go up right now? There's a boat right here. There's dead people here. He's in a drunken stupor again. I think it was him. Oh gosh. Uh. Oh, I'm out. I'm out there. I am out there. Okay. Oh, there's a wave race to do here. A sea race. Whatever they call it. There's also Marianne. And there was another one. Where's the other one? Oh, down here. Nigel. Oh, Nigel's still alive and kicking, huh? I thought that, that mission had passed. I think I'm going to wave or boat my way over that wave race, sea race thingy. Totally stealing this, this boat. Oh yeah, this is cool. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm just getting. Oh no, that's the shooting button. Does this thing have a reverse? Do boats have reverses in real life? I don't know. I've never driven a boat, guys. Oh yeah, this will do just fine. There we go. I like these sea races. They're fun. Get out on the water. Enjoy the beautiful sunshine. The heat of Los Santos. There's this tiny little thing right here. Oh, that's somebody on a sea do. Sea do? We are here. Let's end this episode with a sea do race. 
I just ran over. Okay, that was some sort of yellow thingy. Not important. Uh, where do I go to enter this race? Can I... Well, I just walk through the seat. Right, let's go this way. I think you probably have to enter it at the shore, don't you? What is this? Oh! Hi, no, people! I ain't got no scrap with you. Okay, don't worry about it. I'm cool. How about... Can I... I gotta... Oh, man, I gotta go... Over there. Okay, let's just swim over there. Why not? Go for a nice swim. It's right on the other side of this rock. Yeah, for some reason I was following the waypoint when I shouldn't have been. I should have been following. Oh, wow, that was interesting. <laughs> Climb aboard the sea shark at the start line to enter this race. Let's do it. Okay, they're called sea sharks. I keep forgetting the names of what they are. Let's do it. We are totally entering this race. Oh, there's a lot of racers. More than what appeared. All right, guys, make way for Trevor Phillips, representing Trevor Phillips Industries. Wow, okay, that guy's dead. That'll work for me. Oh, okay, okay. I got a little revenge. That's his buddy. His buddy thought he would avenge. Whoa. Yep, we're good. We're good. We're doing well, folks. Oh, yeah. We're leaving him in the dust. I love these little races, man. There used to be a game, I think for the Nintendo, that was like a boating game. <laughs> the Nintendo, man. A lot of you guys probably have never even seen one of those in real life. <laughs> but back in the day, uh, there used to be a game for the Nintendo. I forgot what it was called, but it was all about like water sports and stuff, and I loved it. It was so much fun. Of course, it was a top-down view. It was 2D. It wasn't anything like this, but it was a lot of fun. And this kind of reminds me of it, and I want to play it again. I'm going to get a Nintendo em emulator. As soon as I finish playing this, I'm going to get a Nintendo emulator and find that game. It's going to be kind of hard, though, without knowing what it's called. I own this! Wasn't even close! What's the world record? Uh, 114! How do you sit? How do you shave 17 seconds off that? <sighs> anyway, I won. That's all that counts. Whoa! I think somebody died just now. Let's go to shore. 